Welcome to the Sverte del Molino farm, where we are not complaining anymore because it has rained 20 millimeters and there is more forecasted. So, no more long faces, just big smiles all around. Nature is nature. The sooner I adapt to it, the better for everything and everybody. The southern border, the creek, the culvert that is built in the creek, this is what is left after the 20 millimeters rain. It is just the perfect amount to overflow and to feed this 10 inch pipe, 25 millimeters. And let's walk along this swale system up to the pond. Let's see what is happening at the pond. Maybe drained all away. We will see. This is where the water from the pipe enters the swale system. And I'm already thinking to widen this area and to do many things, but I must just sit on my hands and do something else. This is working. If it ain't broken, don't fix it. This swale system is also above the canut, the infiltration system from a mother well built, designed by the Moors. So maybe this has now fed that uh, cistern as well. There is no water left in this swell. So it is not as clay, high clay content as the further part. But I like it. it carries on that way. Here at the end of this first swell I have an experiment, this small anthenas, the home oaks, I have pruned last year, just to see how they're going, how I should carry on pruning. And uh, it's all from the roots, none of these are from seeds, from the acorns. On the second swale, also no standing water, no remaining water. The soil is more loam ish. Let's see what happens to the third one. Okay, this is the third one, and there is some standing water now and then, so the soil content changing, higher clay, and then let's see the next one. This is the last swale before the pond, some water remaining. And then the million dollar question, what is happening to the pond? Wow, still a lot of water. Beautiful to share this with people. The joy of doing something for the first time and somehow it worked. We have planted a 150 
vetiver plants on this wall in the topsoil also um, a hundred plants uh, garlic why garlic I don't know it might grow now anything that can grow I plant so this is 48 hours later I've placed those two sticks there when uh, the water came in the first time and it dropped perhaps five millimeters in 48 hours I think it's very good what a sight and the community called my chair here an observation station this is exactly what it is what a view let's go down here and see what is happening to the rest of the farm the Oats and rye is growing well on the berm. The soil here is very clayish. That's why the pond is here. I started to put some uh, obstructions on this berms for the dogs because they treat this as easy highways without paying toll so uh, just to tell him listen take another road look at this one the clay it's almost no change in the water level this is only rain the creek didn't reach here the creek water and this is just below our natural area the break between the flatland and the sloped land some more anti-dog highway obstructions this is the clay swale towards the bottom end of the land there is the north western corner the lowest part of the land and there is always water after some rain beautiful this is a asabuche that we have liberated from the khara the cystus brush this tree is towards its end but it made a lot of new plants on its root system here seven of them in a row and then two this way as well we have cleared most of it we still haven't encountered any saplings any growth from seeds from the acorn seeds but we keep looking this clearing of the hara brush we have now repeated wherever we found the tree and it's usually where the previous one died and then the root system carries on it appears that this is the system in this drought heat frost mediterranean climate i am officially on the map as coastal mediterranean 
but uh, I think I show more inland Mediter Mediterranean uh, characteristics. So, uh, because of the frost, I will have to see. Maybe we have a hybrid, but uh, time will tell. In the sandbox, we have a hundred almeth, the hackberry. We will start planting them on the swales. It's time for them to go to move. I need this sandbox for the next batch of cuttings. Beautiful days, cold in the morning. Middle of the day, it is nice, about 15 degrees Celsius. Till next time, goodbye.